morning and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I have the perfect comfort food recipe and you wouldn't believe it, it's only three in ingredients plus a little bit of toast. So hold on and we'll get to that footage. Okay, I am going to show you the absolute easiest three ingredient recipe to make SOS or as some people call it, chip beef. I'm going to use milk, flour, and dried beef. Now normally when I buy dried beef I get the budding beef but I went to three different stores today and um, they didn't have it so I got this Hormel dried beef and the package is actually about twice what the budding beef is. These are two and a half ounce packages and I bought five of them. So, I'm going to get set up to do this and I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, the first thing that I want to start with is four cups of milk. And then go ahead and get that into this big saucepan. For every cup, I want two big forkfuls of all-purpose flour. And I'm just tearing this bag off so it's a little easier for me to get into. And by a big forkful, that right there is what I mean. So I have four, so I need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now while the milk is still cold. I'm going to go ahead and use whisk. And I'm going to get that whisked in real quick. Okay. I have it all whisked in and I don't see any lumps. So I'm going to start that on just below medium heat. Uh, on a 1 to 9 scale I'm going to put it on a 4. And while it is just coming up to temp I'm going to start cutting the beef. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to cut this into about one inch squares. That will take a few minutes for that to come up to temp. A few bags here to cut. There's two.
three. And get me a wooden spoon in here and start stirring this just a little bit. Two more bags to go. Now, like I said, this isn't the brand that I normally go with, but it will definitely work in a pinch. It's a little bit more expensive. That's all good. Now they do even sell um, dried beef in the little glass jars. And you can use that too, but you definitely need quite a few of them. I'm going to get this stirred up a bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this at this temp until it gets really nice and thick. And while this is heating up, I'm going to be making toast over here in the toaster. So, I'm going to turn the camera off here for a minute. I'm going to let this come up to temp. I'm going to make a little bit of toast. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the first of the toast in there. This is starting to heat up and starting to steam up a little bit. The one thing that um, I did kind of forget to mention... You should probably salt and pepper this to your own taste. So I'm not going to give an exact measurement on salt and pepper because Mark tends to like a little bit more pepper. And I know it can be a little bit of a personal preference. So just salt and pepper it to your taste. I'm going to keep stirring this for a little bit until it thickens up really nice. And I have the first load of bread in the toaster, which should be up in just a second. So I'm going to go let hit and let this heat up just a little bit more. And I have to run another batch of toast through once this is up. So. Hold on, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have all the toast made, and this is starting to get nice and hot. So the only thing I really want it to do from here is get just a little bit thicker. Probably take another minute or two. So as soon as this is thick enough, I will be right back to get this plated up. Okay, I have this boiling, and it's nice and thick, and it is at the consistency that I wanted it. So I'm going to go ahead, shut this burner off. I'm going to get this plated up. And it really is just that easy. I don't know if you can see how nice and thick that is. Go ahead and put that over that toast. And that is easily the quickest and easiest comfort food that you could possibly want. So hold on and I'll be right back.
Okay, so that's all the footage that I have for today. And, yeah, I'm sitting here really full and getting kind of sleepy. It's a little bit late at night. But that's a really good comfort food and really only three ingredients plus a little bit of toast. It's really easy to make. And, wow, is it filling. But I am going to go ahead and get out of here. Because I'm getting a little bit sleepy now. So, yeah. Anyway, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when I'm making something else fantastic in the kitchen. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all in your mind, please leave them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Now we have a lot of other videos coming up for this week and a lot of exciting things so I've got a few other things to get to but for right now I think it might be nap time. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here but don't forget we love you and we'll see you in the next one.